Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and today we are going to be discussing what do you do once you graduate from a dance college. So I'm going to show you the showreel that I made when I was 18 years old. It was my first year out of uni, so be kind. Some of you may or may not know, but I graduated from WAPA, the West Australian Academy of Performing Arts in Perth in uh, the end of 2012. First thing I think that you have to figure out really what do you want to do? Do you want to choreograph? Do you want to be an independent dancer? Do you want to work for a company? Do a combination of all of them? And that is what I wanted to know. Where do I fit in? During uni and afterwards as well, I did every secondment possible. Like you put yourself out there and you make yourself a known entity. So comments are fantastic ways of showing your face, getting the vibe of the company. You catch them at the right time in their rehearsal season, you'll be seen a lot more. If you get them early on during the development in the first three weeks, ideally, of their development, you'll have a lot of time to do the choreographic tasks with them. If you get the end of their season, they'll be doing runs of the show so you'll just be sitting down and watching which in itself has its own benefits but you have less opportunity to be seen you might be lucky enough that you do a secondment someone get, yeah gets injured and you have to step in and they like you and they hire you you know you do an audition and they hire you seconding with an independent artist and you click really well you make cool moves and on their next project they hire you thing is, it's timing. It's through no fault of your own. You're an amazing dancer. As hard as that is to accept, there are some things that are just not in your control, but doesn't mean that you stop trying. Sticking in one place, becoming a part of the community is a really great way if you know that you have a great independent scene that you want to get in on or there is a company in your city that you want to be a part of get going to the company classes if you can they're free it's a great way to stay fit and it keeps your face in the loop go to your independent class sector make sure that people know you're around people don't know that you're in town unless you make yourself known make sure that you're first on their mind keep social if you're living in your hometown and you've got free rent with your folks sometimes that really is the best option you can save your pennies go off and do your workshops be seen many pick postgraduate program you get your honors you do have to write a thesis um, it's a great platform if you want to do other things in the future because you have that piece of paper you have one more year of full-time training you have more performance opportunities you get to work with new and exciting choreographers my other tip is that say yes to everything I think that people can become a little bit picky and a little bit snobby when it comes to certain types of dance works like education tours you know long internships, smaller fringe shows, being in a project but perhaps not as the dancer. You learn so much from doing those jobs and it's not only what you learn, it is who you are working with. Teaching experience is invaluable. You're a team leader. Even within a company structure, if you then get hired as a dancer, you're probably going to need to teach anyway. There's always evening classes, there's always school workshops. You know, if you, if you wanna dance, you're probably gonna need to teach as well. My last tip is just ask. You will not get something unless you ask. They wanna help you out. They, the worst that can happen is that they'll say no. I made a little showreel from my time with ADT, um, the kickstart program. I pulled together not only my own phrase, but also they allowed me to learn a couple of repertoire phrases to add to that. Neat rehearsal video footage. That's all you need. It doesn't need to be stage shots. Make sure it's pretty much just you. They just want to see you move. This is something I sent off to companies and independent artists to kind of introduce myself. Also, it works well in auditions because generally they might need something like this. But again, it really depends on the job.
Thank you for watching Joy in Motion. Please like, comment or subscribe to my video and I will see you next time. Thank you.